an explosive storm slammed into Ireland in the early hours of Monday morning, causing chaos and destruction across the Emerald Isle. Packing furious winds up to 120 kilometers per hour and torrential rain, Debbie was no ordinary storm. It was one of the most intense to batter Ireland in years. Hello, and welcome to Alerts On. In this video, we'll go over the impacts of this meteorological beast, from the shattered trees and flooded streets, to the transportation disruptions and massive power outages left in its wake. With dramatic footage and insight into how communities rallied in the aftermath, join me as we look back on the fury and fallout of Storm Debbie's assault on Ireland. The powerful storm made landfall on November 13th, 2023, sweeping in from the Atlantic Ocean with howling winds and drenching rain. The worst conditions were felt along Ireland's south and west coasts, where red and amber weather warnings were issued by Met Irian and the UK Met Office. These rare warnings indicated a danger to life and property from extreme winds, flooding and flying debris. The warnings may have mitigated even worse outcomes, but Storm Debbie still left a trail of damage across Ireland's counties. One of the most crippling effects was power loss. An estimated 70,000 homes and businesses suffered blackouts at the height of the tempest. Northern Ireland was also impacted with around 2,000 customers losing electricity in areas like Craigavon, Newry, and Downpatrick. With trees and power lines toppled, utility crews faced a monumental task to restore service across the countryside. Driving conditions became treacherous as relentless rains flooded roads and howling winds littered debris across highways. Particularly hard hit were west coast routes like the Oran Moor to Galway Coast Road, which was entirely shut down. Ballymena, County Down and Antrim also saw closures after fallen trees made roads impassable. Even major highways like the M1 near Junction 14 experienced accidents during the storm's peak. Ireland's public transportation unraveled as the tempest raged. Multiple flights were grounded at Dublin Airport and others faced significant delays. Trains across the Republic of Ireland were placed under speed restrictions, causing frustrating delays for commuters. Intercity buses were also disrupted, including the complete closure of Lisbon bus station due to unsafe conditions. With power outages and debris posing hazards across Ireland, many local services wisely shut down at the height of the storm. Schools and colleges delayed openings to protect students traveling on slick roads and communities opened emergency shelters to house displaced residents. Even routine municipal services like waste collection were postponed until Storm Debbie passed. While extremely disruptive, there were no reports of any serious injuries or fatalities from the tempest, thanks to proper precautions by the public. But the storm's financial toll will likely be steep given the scale of infrastructure damage and closures to businesses during the severe weather. In the hours after Storm Debbie moved on, the hard work of recovery commenced across Ireland. Utility crews labored around the clock to untangle downed power lines and get electricity switched back on in affected areas. Road maintenance teams worked to clear fallen trees, drainage crews pumped out floodwaters, and public transit slowly resumed normal schedules.
For thousands left temporarily without power, communities banded together with resilience and camaraderie. Neighbors shared resources, emergency responders provided assistance to the hardest hit areas, and those with electricity opened their homes to those without. Businesses donated food and supplies to displaced residents, while schools became makeshift shelters and warming centers. It will take time to calculate the full scope of Storm Davies' impacts, but the people of Ireland have admirably begun putting their communities back together. Having weathered the fury of the windswept Atlantic before, they know deep bonds of community and perseverance will see them through the recovery ahead. This exceptional storm took Ireland by surprise, as extreme weather events of this magnitude are still rare despite the country's vulnerable coastal location. However, some experts believe climate change could be making North Atlantic storms more frequent and destructive going forward. Only time will tell if tempestuous weather patterns like Storm Debbie become the new normal. For now, Ireland's residents are focused on restoration while counting their blessings that the damage wasn't worse. Debbie provided a sobering reminder of nature's fearsome power, but also renewed appreciation for the enduring Irish spirit that shines through in times of crisis. Storm Debbie will go down in history as one of Ireland's most vicious autumn storms, leaving disrupted infrastructure and battered communities in its wake. But thanks to proper preparation and regional cooperation, there were thankfully no reports of serious injuries. As Ireland collects itself after weathering Debbie's wrath, stories of hope are already emerging of neighbours helping neighbours, businesses pitching in, and complete strangers offering comfort through the hardship. While the road to recovery remains long, the resilient people of this Emerald Isle have proven they have what it takes to rebuild. Thanks for watching this look back at the chaos and community of Storm Debbie. Stay safe out there and see you in the next video.